And finally tonight here, one on one with a legend, the voice behind an iconic Star Wars moment. But it turns out it was all an accident, he says, that James Earl Jones became the voice of Darth Vader. But few know how his life began. The boy, once afraid to talk, tonight back in front of a brand new audience, James Earl Jones is our person of the week. Up from the subway into New York's Times Square and right to the famed Sardis in the theater district where he was waiting. Mr. Jones. <laughs> David, how are you? What an honor. James Earl me. Jones, whose voice is legendary. No, I am your father. Listen to this behind the scenes moment. The voice of the actor who actually wore the Darth Vader suit. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. Then listen to James Earl Jones. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. About to turn 84, he's back on Broadway. You've been on Broadway many times before. I've been on Broadway some, but it's, it's so wonderful to be back on Broadway. This time performing in You Can't Take It With You, playing a wise grandfather. You have said before that it was your grandfather who had the most impact on you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my, my grandfather was, was Papa. He was a farmer, very simple man. A simple man who led the family and led his grandson, James Earl, through a challenging childhood. Your family didn't have a lot of money. No. During rationing time, we had some sugar. We, we hoarded away, and uh, we, we grew the rest of our food. But that wasn't his only hurdle. He was a boy who stuttered. He spent years not talking at all, until one day he wrote a poem in high school. There was a teacher who looked at one of your poems yeah. and said, this is so good, I want you to prove that you wrote this. Yeah. Do you remember standing up and reading that? Oh, yeah, and, and getting through it without stuttering. From poverty, from silence, a boy who would later excel. The fact that George Lucas chose your voice. That's an accident. You don't mind the accident now looking back, right? Oh, no, oh, no. I'm, I'm very proud to, be, to have been a part of that. The boy born in Mississippi and who grew up on a farm in Michigan ended up being the voice. And who was a stutterer. And yeah. Who, and who was a stutterer. That, that's his Darth Vader. So many iconic roles coming to America. Eva will come, Ray. Then that speech in Field of Dreams. So All these years later, ago, we study his caricature right there on the wall. Oh, Love and peace, James Earl Jones. I'm still the same person. Was the end yeah. on the wall? Yeah. And for this reporter begging for a lesson. Now listen, I do the news every night, and I, I can only dream of a voice with the kind of resonance that your voice has. Our voices are very similar, I'm afraid. You think so? Yeah, I, I have less control of mine, no? <laughs> you do? I'm serious. Really? And he revealed to me how he prepares before the fans arrive at that theater Every night. We yell. We yell at the seats. We oh, you yell at the empty seats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to practice that tonight before before the broadcast. And you make no the mistake, the they were seat. all there for him. Thank you very much. An honor. An honor indeed. And so we choose James Earl Jones. And by the way, that 84th birthday comes in January, telling me he already has his next step planned, but said, I'm not revealing it. We can't wait. We'll see you for 2020 in just a few hours. And back here on Monday. Good night.